going back to part six of this adventure. Now, I skipped a huge section of us just falling down the more that, you know, that volcano-like thing to the lava pit. Because it was boring and very repetitive. Which is one of the few problems this game has. This is the lava boss. He's a guy who jumps around and if you try to hit him while he's on fire, you get a nasty burn. As you can imagine, fireballs give you heartburn as well. Luckily, I have like an instant heal from third degree burns, so attacks don't cripple me. This is another one of the few problems, is that if you get like trapped in a corner, you get hit repeatedly without a chance to really get up. A lot of games have this problem, and this is one of them. Now there are two special moves that this character has. One, neither of those special moves I'm going to show you because this character doesn't have the better ones. He has one which essentially camouflages him at the background to avoid being hit. But it really doesn't have that much effectiveness for my strategy. And the other one requires a combination of moves I don't like using. Because it's a hard to do a combination of moves. I'm just one of those people who likes to go around and shoot things. Don't want to have to learn special combination moves. Kicking him seems very effective. Unless he's got you in a corner. This is the other combination, the musical special move. And it does a lot of damage, but for me to push those buttons is very difficult because I don't have a, unlike a D-pad, I don't really have the ability to push those two buttons at once in the way that this game would like you to be able to. Wow. Finally realizing that I can actually defeat some of his worthless minions. Now I didn't understand how we got from being in a volcano to a beach, but, you know, why are we going on vacation during the middle of the grand battle doesn't really make a lot of sense, but here we are in the beach. This is, uh, see, I mean, they do a lot of animation. They, the, the hermit crabs, the flying seagulls, the seagull on the, uh, pier thing. And little boxes have a nice little explosion, and a little snake comes out of them when you blow them up on the beach. They spend a lot of time on this game, and of course those tough crabs. Okay, now a lot of the fighting here is very similar to what you've seen before, if you watch the other parts. There's really nothing un unique in terms of the enemies, and because it is so repetitive, and there's really not, we're gonna pause it until we come upon something that's new. This is something a little bit new. I'll, when you don't move far enough, the, a little picture of the woman will show up and she'll say go. Meaning you defeated all the enemies on the screen, which I'm showing you. Also, if you look at the sand, you'll notice when I walk up to it, there's a little hand that comes up and punches you. And you can't, I haven't figured out any way to defeat this, this little guy. So I think it's just an impediment. 
and you actually move away from the beach to like a mountainside background. But besides that, and the, the hands that are in the ground, there's really nothing new here. All right, here's the the end boss of this level, Tackle Jackal. He actually kind of looks like a, more of a human to me than a lot of the other bad guys. Now, well, it looks like I'm, I'm really beating this guy really easily. With a lot of the other players, this guy can really cause a lot of damage. But with this character, it's, it's harder for him to hurt me. And there, we've beaten him. So we're going to pause this and come back to see part 7 of this continuing saga.